गाइस वेलकम टू टेक सिंपलीफाइड एंड आई वांट टू टेल यू डोंट बाय सैमसंग 5G फोन्स वेल दैट्स नॉट ट्रू डोंट बाय सैमसंग फोन्स बिकॉज ऑफ 5G एंड दैट इज वेयर द स्टोरी स्टार्ट्स बिकमिंग ट्रू नाउ सैमसंग एज अ कंपनी हैज स्टार्टेड नोटिसिंग द चेंज इन व्हाट पीपल नीड दे हैव स्टॉप्ड थिंकिंग अबाउट एडिंग मोर फीचर्स एंड स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग अबाउट एडिंग मोर बैंड्स and that is very very prevalent in their a series phone when you talk about their flagship series the flagship series are actual value for money and also include 5g but here the a series have started offering 5g as a bigger feature and their other hardware as a smaller feature by selling you with the idea that you're going to be future proof but let me tell you the truth you might have a network coverage that is future proof but if your hardware isn't future proof you're not going to be able to use that future proof network that's right so go back a few years let's say 3 years back right 3 years back some manufacturer would have started introducing 4g right now in that scenario tell me would you still use that phone today after 3 years probably not because the hardware is not where it needs to be now that's right hardware plays a lot of important role when it comes to being future proof and i'll tell you why when you talk about network and you see the history you'll realize that it took a lot of time to go from 3g to 4g and it's going to take a lot of time to go from 4g to 5g and the reason being 4g is a wide area coverage network when you talk about 5g 5g is a very small area coverage network so to reach where currently india is with 4g 5G infrastructure will have to be developed at a very very major and mass scale and this is something that is really difficult at the moment so what do you do you buy a phone that has capable hardware that can stand the test of time and then you start looking for 5G instead of making 5G your first option and i know it sounds foolish right now since 5G is the new buzzword but trust me when you look at all the tweets related to 5g you look at all the feedback related to 5g you'll realize that giving importance to hardware is rather more important than just giving plain and simple importance to 5g but yes some of you will still think that okay let's say i want capable hardware and i want 5g what do i buy then you buy iq7 you buy realme x7 max you buy a realme not to uh, sorry <laughs> you buy one plus not two right and those are the phones that have good 5g also and good capable hardware too links for which you will find in the description so if you do buy it you'll be helping out the channel but let me leave you with this hardware gets upgraded every year but the network needs at least 3 to 5 years to get upgraded now tell me what expires more quickly your current generation hardware or your current generation network that is how you see what needs to be on your priority list when you talk about being future proof right thanks for watching the video if you did like the video please like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye bye